Hi, I'm Kevin with Genesis Rescue Systems, and we're here with our friends from Chicago's Bravest Stories podcast to present a 12-part video training series on real-world practical applications for passenger vehicle extrication. Engine 1, engine 4, truck 2, truck 10, ambulance 82, battalion 2, fire 1020 North Main, help is on the way. Oh, hey, Corey. Hey. Can oh, you just man. step on sign of refusal of services, please? <laughs> Thanks, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> In the next video, we're gonna cover the dirty side tension buttress tie back. And that is when we have a vehicle that we find side resting in a rollover scenario, where we can put up both of our tension buttress struts on the dirty side, which we consider to be the undercarriage of the vehicle, which allows us so much more working space on the roof side. The equipment necessary for this procedure would be a tension buttress stabilization system, a J-hook tote cluster, a 20 foot grade 83 8 inch chain, some traditional lumber cribbing, a marrying strap or something to tension that chain, marrying strap, grip hoist, or a come along, and an anchor point. We'll start our soft basic stabilization using four by four and a wedge, just to cinch up any type of void space that there might be. That should keep the rescuers relatively protected while we're setting the struts. The first strut is gonna go in at an attachment point to the underside of the vehicle. We're just going to gently set this in place just for position, but we want to make sure that our strut is going to be 45 to 70 degree range. We want the strap as parallel to the ground as possible, but we want to try to keep it as in line with the strut as we can. Okay, we're going to take that 3 8 inch chain, we're going to set it in a position where it's going to run to the back side of our struts that are already relatively set and ready to go. From this point, we'll attach our TU-17 grip hoist that's anchored down to our vehicle. Using a giant J-hook, it's nice to keep in the center of that chain because it will find a point of tension just by tightening down on the grip hoist. So now the chain is tensioned down. It's not in contact with the struts, but the tension on that chain that runs from the front to the back of the underside of the car is putting weight and tension onto the tops of the strut heads, which makes the vehicle very, very secure. We never want to check for stability by shaking the vehicle itself, but how we do that is to check for tension on the lower strap. It really ensures that you do have a capture at the base plate that's connected to the ground. This episode of Back to Basics Training Tips has been brought to you by Genesis Rescue Systems and Chicago's Bravest Stories Podcast. Thank you for your support. We'll see you soon.